today in our Houston office and I'm interviewing Terry Snow who is our office manager but she's also the mom of a couple of young men now who I worked with when they were a lot younger little guys. Um, so this is Terry. She's sort of the voice of Homeopathy Center of Houston so if you call she is probably 99% of the time going to be the person that you'll talk to and I wanted you know our current clients and future clients to get some faces and names to put together and also just I'm going to give her a chance to talk a little bit about hers and her two uh, sons experiences with Homeopathy Center of Houston. So Terry it's been a day or two since I worked with the boys, hasn't it? <laughs> yes, it has. And they've grown up just a little bit. They've grown up a lot. Why don't you talk a little bit about the older and the younger, um, where they were when you came to us, and and what they're doing, you know, today, and the progress that they both made, which is pretty much they're out there doing their thing independently these days. Okay. So. Um, I tell a lot of clients this and potential clients who call that I had two boys on the spectrum. When I got them here, they were both very, very sick. The youngest one was 10 and the oldest was 12 and a half. And the youngest... I've forgotten that they were that old they, when they started. Yeah, they were. And that's nice for people to know because... Mm -hmm. A lot of the people that call us have older kids, so yes. that's one of the things that I think the biomedical world made a big deal out of is, oh, if you start after they're about five or six, then there's no hope. Well, we... Not true. You're, Not you're true. walking proof. Your mm -hmm. boys are walking proof that, that the age was really not a difference with homeopathy. I would not have my adult boys the way they are now without this protocol, this place, and my homeopath. Um, the youngest was very sick, very, very sick, and a lot of gut pain, hanging over the toilet day and night, mm, very thin that. on uh, some sort of stimulant <clears throat> for ADD. The oldest, we had been told, was bipolar. He had never been diagnosed, but they sure put him on meds, any anxiety, any depressants, psychotropic drugs, so they were both very sick and not doing very well. If he wasn't bipolar, the drugs he was on would have been enough to make, make him, him that way. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he'd been on them for four or five years by I, the time you got hold of him. Yeah. Um, and I remember that we were focusing on the younger one. Yes. And for about a year before we got yeah. the the older one. So and One day I started asking questions mm -hmm. about the older one and went, yep. oh. And the light bulb went on for yes. both of us that probably yes. we needed to work with him too. So the youngest was PDD when that was a brand new diagnosis mm -hmm. way back when. And the oldest ended up being a little Aspie, Asperger's, which is a heck of a lot better than bipolar. Yeah. But we worked for about four years with homeopathy to get them as recovered as they could be. So the oldest recovered 100%. Um, and the youngest recovered, I tell people, about 95%. Uh, they're in their 20s now, and the youngest is, uh, who was the most severe, he had very obvious vaccine damage. Can I say that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because that's exactly okay. what it yes. is. Yes. He did yeah. have vaccine damage, and back then they did not talk about it, they didn't acknowledge it, they didn't really bring it up, and they certainly didn't say much about autism. No. And certainly um, these days, you know, autism and vaccines have nothing to do with each other, but... Well, I can, well, I talk to enough parents to know that they do. Absolutely. So, um, I, I have them now, they're happy, they're healthy, they're functioning, and the youngest who was most severe is living on his own, working, going to school, and... Um, and he's really good looking. And in the process of <laughs> learning to drive, so... Um, amazing, amazing. I wouldn't have either of them this way if it, if it wasn't for this protocol. You've got to go through the neurotypical parent teaching a child to drive thing. <laughs> yes, yes. So, and it's taken and it's longer, but that's okay. You know, yeah. it's been nine months, so 
Um, That's not a, an all bad thing in the driving no. world, especially since I'm on the same, stra same streets that he might be on. That's true. And in I'm, Houston, it's so big. It's very big. true. Very true. Um, you never give up hope. Um, Absolutely not. Trust in the in the body to heal and trust in homeopathy. I and trust there, your gut as a parent. I know there are a lot of other things out there. And uh, most people try everything else before they get to us, which yeah. is a shame. Yeah. You know, we all wish it we'd is. known sooner, but it works. There's no doubt in my mind. Thank you. And now you've gotten your hands on me. <laughs> I know. And on top of all of that, through, through working with her kids, we ended up with, how long have you worked with us now? Going on 11 years. Oh, over t so. Well, 12 with my boys, but not in the office. Yeah. So yeah. we, we, we snatched her up and uh, yanked her out of a lawyer's office and put her to work here at Homeopathy Center where she wears just about every hat in the world except that of homeopath. And sometimes I come in and she goes, you need some remedies. So, <laughs> <laughs> Although sometimes it's more like you need some coffee. Mm -hmm. So, Well, thank you for taking some time out of your day. And I'm going to let you get back to the people that... Hopefully we'll see this and, and give us a call. And, you know, it's always nice. Parents would much rather hear from another parent. Mm -hmm. And we are blessed, actually, with um, other employees whose kids we have worked with. And yes. we've got one whose son is fully recovered. And we have another one that works with us that, uh, that we're still working with her daughter. So we're... Every one of us at Homeopathy Center pretty much has had a child on spectrum. Mm -hmm. I had a son with Asperger's who's fully recovered and is out there thinking about getting an engineering degree, but working in the field that he enjoys and thinking about getting into solar energy backups for office security and fire systems, I think. Um, that was the last he was talking about. And um, he's working in that field. And Lyndall had a son with Tourette syndrome and a lot of learning disabilities that went with that. So we have a great deal of experience, not just as practitioners, but as parents. Mm -hmm. So we understand the kind of things, the fights with the schools and yeah. finding the right programs. But also all of our kids have recovered using Homeopathy Center of Houston's protocol. Mm -hmm. Oh. There's a lot of fear attached to having a, a special needs kid or a kid with glitches. A there lot is. of fear. And a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. and a lot of stress. have been um, that. A lot of guilt. We've all got the, the a lot wrinkles of wrinkles and yep. gray hair to go with that. Yep. But yeah. that's why I'm here. You know, this this job makes a difference. It does. This job makes a difference. I When I turned 50, I didn't want a job just to have a job. I wanted a job that I knew could help. Yeah. And so in my own way, helping here in the office and, and talking to 9, parents. hats mm -hmm. and taking I, on whatever we throw your way. Yes. I just want to give the parents the reassurance. Yes, absolutely. Because I've been there and done that. And, yeah. I'll, and I'll walk through it with them. And she will. She really will. Any one of our clients knows this. If you're seeing this, you've. she's our professional hand holder. <laughs> so you got to have a little bit of that when you're yes. in this kind of a business. You do. And Terry is the perfect person because she does understand it from the parent's perspective as well as working here. So, and we're delighted to have you. And I'm delighted to be here. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you.